Shalom. Let's go to the book of Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5. It says, The declaration of the Lord, I myself will be a wall of fire around it, and I will be the glory within it. Zechariah saw that the vision where God was um, sending, where God sent angels to measure the seed place, and another angel came to, to, to give another message that God was delivering to the people of Israel. And in that message, we we'll see that it was the time whereby the the seat of Jerusalem was destroyed because was destroyed because of of the enemy who overtook that place, who overtook the people of Israel and put them into captivity. And by that time, the seat of Jerusalem was destroyed. It was not having a stronghold and protection. And some others, they left behind. But the mo most of them, they went into captivity. But then God said that I will bring them back. I will bring those who are into Babylon captive. I will bring them back to their relative country, to the people where I God has had had chosen and then this is what happened and when God gave that vision to Zechariah and we, as we see that there were no walls out surrounding the city of Jerusalem but God promised to Zechariah that he will be a wall of fire around her And less than the science, the science says that for the fire to be created is necessary of two chemical combustion. One is the oxygen, and another one is the is the fuel. And this fuel plus the oxygen when they when they react with one another the result is a colorful reaction which is called fire and something called my my attention calls my attention as we see that in the nature there is god dna how come the oxygen plus the fuel when they they come together they give a reaction of fire it reminds me that in genesis when god just spoke with the word everything began to exist god told the carrier that he will be a wall of fire he didn't say he will be like a wall he said i myself will i will be a wall of fire it means that it's a fire that's coming from heaven that will surround the seat as now people of israel listen to me as because you will be you will you will coming back to your country to your relative country i will make you guys and you know that you might be afraid because you will uh, a country that is not surrounded with a wall is a vulnerable country. It's easy for the enemy to attack, to overtake that country. But now God had, had promised to them by, say, by saying this, I will be a wall of fire around Jerusalem, around Israel. Isn't it what God does in us? Isn't it what God does in us? When we sometimes for a misled for a misled we just uh, we allow Satan to get into our territory and he does things in our life to to the uh, uh, and to the point we do not understand 
what is going on. He comes with so many things in our in our territory. He comes with so many weapons just to destroy us. And we become vulnerable. Why? Because we are not protected. But then God is saying this because of so long you have been into captive. But today I decided now to stand on my to stand on my position and to be a wall of fire around you. You ah, God is saying, don't you don't need to get to get afraid and more. Because I'm a war around you. I'm a war of fire around you. God's plans and purpose stretch beyond the boundary of what humans believe is possible. God's promise is that He Himself will be the glory filling the inside of your heart, of your spirit. In Hebrew 12, 29, God says he is a consuming fire. Ah, in the Old Testament, God says that God spoke through a burning bush. God was always, always revealing himself with a flaming fire. Oh, oh by his power, he accomplished infinitely more than more we can imagine. This is what God does. And listen to this. When Jesus promised to the disciple that he will send the helper, there in the book of Acts, the Bible says that, the Bible says that when the, the Holy Spirit came down, a flame of fire upon their heads. The fire is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. It's the presence of God in us. It's the Holy Spirit in us. That's why they had to wait for the Holy Spirit so that they might be testified that they belong to Jesus. And that fire was the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in their life. It's the power that was about to work in them. Now, it, there's, there's something important that I catch up. Listen up this very careful, very well. You know when the gift of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is in us, it's activated. I'm telling you this. When one of the gifts, of the Holy Spirit that's defeating your life. It's not just a, 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 mere, a mere gift. It's a gift with a power. It's a gift with a fire. Because the fire, you know that the fire cannot stand. The flame of fire is always is moving. It's shaking. It's blossom. It's split out, it's split out, it's split out. The fire does not just stand in one place. It's split out, it's flaming. It's burning, it's burning, it's burning, it's flaming. This is how the, the, the gift of the Holy Spirit works in us. Because I don't know if it, it ever happened to you. When you are about to use the gift, when the Holy Spirit wants to use the gift in your life, you will see yourself feeling like you are becoming hot. This is it's like a, a hit, a, a, a hit in you. It's the ball that wants to burn. It's the ball that wants to flame out. This is what is happening when the gift of the Spirit is in us and wants to manifest. Because He used the, that manifestation as needed so that the power must be released. And when the power of the Holy Ghost wants to release, that's why people they get healed. That's why people they begin to cry. Why? Because there is something that is, is flaming in Him. There is something that is flaming in His Spirit. 
which is the fire in the presence of God. We need to require more of His. We need to require more of His. God, I want to be full of you. Fill me up. Fill me up. Fill me up. Till overflow. And listen up this as well. Very careful. And remember then this. Listen this. Listen this, Haraba Shunama Setelebo Shaka. Libra Katalabo Shanaba Setelebo Shata. I pray, Libra Katalaba Setelebo Shanaba. Mani Bo Shakatana, Masutala, the Holy Spirit to activate the gift in your life with a flaming fire, with a burning fire, with a burning fire, with, with the fullness of the Holy Ghost in you. I declare it upon your life. I declare it upon your life. Till overflow. Till overflow. Get it full of his spirit. Get full of his spirit. Get full of his spirit. Right now in Jesus name. And listen up this one. And you know when you are full of his spirit. He said as well. He said this. And I will be the glory of the net. This means that the presence of God will be in our midst, in your, in your sight. He will be in you. And it means that when you are now in, in, in walking according to God's will, walking according to God's purpose, it means that uh, everything in you, it will be surrounded with a fire. It will become a flame of fire. Your hand it will become a flame of fire. And your head it will become a flame of fire. Your, your foot will become a, a flame of fire. Ah, your body, it, your body, it will become a flame of fire. Because the Holy Ghost is in you. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit is in you. He's flaming. He's flaming you. He's flaming you. He's flaming you. And until he wants to pour out. That's why when you go into his presence in, in prayer. You see, sometimes there's that moment whereby the atmosphere change, and you feel yourself like uh, you are covered by a certain kind of anointed. You are covered with a certain kind of atmosphere. That atmosphere whereby you feel hot, you feel a flame of fire. You feel like you are burning. You are burning. I'm praying. I'm declaring now for you to begin to burn, to burn when you are praying, to burn when you are praying for you. To, be, to burn when you are praying. Ha! Ori brasa talabra shetene masika labasete. Ah, the devil will not see you. Look, the enemy of Israel, like they were not able to see, to see them. They will see a wall of fire. They will see a wall of fire. They will not see them. They will not see them. They, will, they saw that the, the city of Jerusalem was surrounded by the walls of fire. Ah, the, it was a wall of fire. A wall of fire that you cannot even come close. You know that when you, you are burning with the with a fire, when you are burning with a fire, the devil cannot come close into your territory. He cannot come cross into your territory because your territory is surrounded by the fire of the Holy Ghost and you are full of it. The more you drive yourself near to God, you will become more hotter. You will become more hotter. You need to be able, you need to be a kind of Christian. Ah, wherever you go, you need to split out. You need to split out the fire. Ah, you need to split out the fire. Wherever your, your foot step in, you need to split out the fire. Ah, wherever you lift your hand on, I'm telling you, you need to split out the fire. You need to split out the fire. You need to split out the fire. Why? Because God... Why? Because God, Ribro Shatanama City, God is the protective presence of your life. You need to know that the protective presence of your life is God. He is the one, He is the one, He is the one. He is the one who protects you when you feel unprotected. He is the one who protects you when you feel like you cannot do anything. When you 
feel like you are done when you feel like the enemy is attacking you but God is saying I'm protecting you with the walls of fire I'm protecting I'm protecting you with the walls of fire you might not see now you might not see but I'm telling you just trust in me just trust me that I'm protecting you with the walls of fire I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. This is what God is saying to you today. This is what God is saying to you. The protective presence of God in your life. Receive it now. 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 You say, God, I'm to be able to, to spread out. I want to be able to pour out. I want to be able, God, to transfer, God, the power. I want to be able to transfer the fire that is in me. The flammy fire that is in me. If they were able the manifestation of, of the Holy Spirit was very clear upon their life because God had to show up to show up to them to the, to the disciples to the disciples for, for the people outside to see that they belong to Jesus Christ just receive it today Receive the protective presence of God. Receive the protection. He said he will be your walls. He said he will be a walls of fire in your life. You need to believe it. You need to walk in that. Satan will not see you. Satan will not see you. Because you are full of fire. You are burning. Wherever you will stand, wherever the ground you will step in, you will burn that ground. You will burn that place. You will burn that territory. You will burn it. You will burn it in Jesus name you will burn it you will burn it you will burn it you will burn it we will burn it you will burn it you will burn it the place will become hot the place will become hot say god i want to become i want to become more hotter than i am i want to become hotter than i, than I am i want more of your presence i fill me up with your hotness fill me up with your presence fill me up with your fire fill me up with your fire your fire which is symbolized which is symbolized the power which is symbolized the power at work it symbolized the power at work it's the power at working ha! it's the power at working that's why when you use the, the gift of the, uh, when you use the gift that the holy spirit gave you it's the power at work and when it's and, and because it's the power at work, it means that whatever you do with that power, it will work out. It it will come. It will it, it will come something out of that. Why? Because of the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive it in my name of Jesus Christ. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Get full of Him. Get full of Him. Get full of Him. Get full of Him. Get full of Him in my name of Jesus. Say God. Fill me up more of you because you are my protection, God. There's no weapon, there's no weapon. Let me tell you, when you are surrounded by the, the fire of God, there's there will be no weapon that will prosper into your life, into your territory because they will burn, they will get burnt. Ha, they will get burnt. Every kind of weapon that and tools that the enemy scattered on you, I'm telling you, they will get burned, they will burn it, they will burn it, well burn it, they will burn it because you are surrounded by the walls, by the wall of fire, by the wall of fire. Just remember when you go into the presence of God, remember this, you are surrounded you are surrounded. Yes, the enemy, he will walk around, but he will not come close to you. Ha! He will not come close to you. I'm telling you this. Ah, it's very prophetic word. He will not come close to you. Because you are protected. You are protected. You are protected by the fire. The fire that's coming from heaven. The fire that the one who created. The fire that the one who created Jesus, he created. He created. He created. He created. He created. He created. He created in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be blessed and you are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus.
Amen. Shalom, shalom. God bless you.